Welcome to Tesla Life. If you like this video, please subscribe and share the video with your friends. And I would appreciate it if you'd press that little like button. If you're thinking of buying a Tesla, please use my referral code, Nicholas4590. Hey everyone, I uh, haven't been on for a little while, so I thought I'd show you an update. I just got 2021.24.4 with a bunch of new features, and let me uh, show you. So this is the new release, 2021.24.4. Uh, they added uh, Disney Plus to the uh, media, car wash mode, uh, mirror auto dim, uh, dash cam improvements, range display, remaining uh, connected to the Wi-Fi and drive mode, and new language support. So let's go into each one. So Disney Plus, you can now watch Disney Plus on the uh, Tesla Theater app. Uh, let me show you that. So here's uh, the entertainment. You go under this entertainment and theater, and here's Disney Plus. So you can log in now to Disney Plus and uh, I logged in earlier. Didn't like how it made me log in a second time. But uh, you can get into Disney Plus. Go to, for example, Marvel. And uh, let's just uh, pick a show, play. Stream it. There it is. Pretty cool. Car wash mode. I've been uh, wanting this uh, feature uh, ever since I did my <laughs> car wash video. So it says the car wash mode closes all windows, locks the charge port, and disables windshield wipers sentry mode and walk away door locks uh, and parking sensor chimes uh, for automatic car wash with the conveyor belts the free roll option shifts to neutral and prevents the uh, parking brake from automatically applying uh, you can access car wash mode under controls service car wash mode so let's check that out so let me show you car wash mode the first thing you have to know is that you have to be in park so I'm going to put the car in park, then under um, controls, service, you can go to car wash mode and just click enter car wash. Your windows will go up. You could fold your mirrors in if you'd like. And then it says down here, put your foot on the brake and put it in drive uh, to enable uh, free roll mode, which basically just puts it into neutral and now you can see I'm uh, rolling backwards. So uh, that puts the car in neutral. Just, I guess uh, it's just an easier way to put it in neutral. The um, other way to put it in neutral is uh, if you're in drive, you just lift this bar up with your foot on the brake slightly, not hard, and then it goes into neutral, okay? So then I guess when you're done, it does all of this, keep speed below, uh, charge port locks, walk away door locks are off, automatic wipers are off, parking assist chimes are off, sentry mode is off, climate recirculating, uh, front closed, trunk closed, and you can also then just exit uh, uh, the car wash mode. So the next new feature is mirror auto dim, and uh, it allows you to enable or disable auto dimming of your mirrors. So let me show you, if you go into controls, under quick controls, mirrors, there's this option here to allow auto dimming uh, of uh, your uh, mirrors, your side view mirrors. So back in October of 2020, uh, Tesla released auto dimming of the side view mirrors and uh, some people didn't like it. So this feature allows you to turn off that capability. So the next new feature, dash cam improvements. Uh, the dash cam can now automatically save clips um, whenever your vehicle detects an occurrence of a safety event, such as an accident. Uh, this data isn't transmitted back to Tesla, but it can automatically record, um, I guess, from the cameras to your uh, hard drive if you have it uh, attached or your thumb drive. So it's available under um, controls, safety and security dash cam. So controls, safety and security. And down here we 
we have dash cam auto. Auto saves up to 10 minutes of video uh, to your USB drive when the vehicle detects the occurrence of a safety event, such as an accident. Um, so that's the new auto setting, and there was manual on and on honk uh, options. So I'm going to accept. That'll probably be pretty good. Nice safety feature. So the next thing is the range display. It looks like you can toggle between either the number of miles left or your percentage of your battery left. And it says you can just tap the screen. Yep. So by just tapping this area here, it'll toggle between uh, what percentage or miles. I think I just like the miles. I don't know why I would want percentage. I'm more interested in how much miles I have, but uh, interesting new feature. Uh, range uh, remain connected to Wi-Fi so to remain connected to your Wi-Fi when shifting into gear tap the Wi-Fi icon here's the Wi-Fi icon and under Wi-Fi settings yes remain connected in drive so um, I don't know what that would be good for because uh, that Wi-Fi option oh maybe if you're if there's like a Wi-Fi hotspot all over a certain area um, you might want to stay connected to it um, don't think I want to stay um doesn't make sense to stay connected to a local Wi-Fi that's at your house but uh, perhaps it would make sense to uh, stay connected to some Wi-Fi spots uh, you're already connected in um, park mode. New language support. Uh, looks like we got three new languages that are supported. Now, uh, these are some um, releases uh, that came out uh, prior to this one. 2021.12.25. Uh, we got the Skyforce Reloaded uh, video game. some new language support to other languages in 2021.4.12 um, there's a, a minor cold weather improvements don't think there was really too much there I think it was just maybe some bug fixes so that's all we have for today thanks everyone take care bye bye hey thanks for watching if you like this video please subscribe on the top left and share the video with your friends my other model 3 videos are here in the middle if you want 1,000 miles of free supercharging, please use my referral code listed on the bottom. My Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter accounts are on the right. And check out my new channel, Pickleball is Life. It's a great game, and subscribe on the bottom left. Take care.